swimming, drying clothes, mowing the lawn. You probably don't give these things a second thought, but none would be possible without Australian ingenuity. Hi, I'm Simon from CSIRO, and we're constantly working on new inventions. But what exactly is an invention? To put it simply, an invention is a design or a way of doing something that is new, and Australians have been inventing things for thousands of years. The returning airfoil projectile was invented by Australian Aborigines, or you might know it better as the boomerang. So fast forward to 1906, an audience in Melbourne sits down to watch a movie called The Story of the Kelly Gang. So what's the big deal? Well, the film ran for more than an hour, which was unusual because most films at the time were less than 10 minutes long. It was, in fact, the world's first feature-length movie. Australians have made many contributions to beach culture and safety, and one really important one is zinc cream. This white sunblock, made from zinc oxide, was developed by a pharmaceutical company as the ultimate protection against sunburn. Someone else with safety in mind was David Warren. He came up with an idea for a machine that would record the voices and instrument readings in the cockpit of an aircraft. His theory was that this information may provide clues as to what happened to cause the crash. We know it as the black box flight recorder, even though it's actually orange. Wait a moment, a black box that's orange? I think we need to take a closer look to the lab. <laughs> It was originally called the Red Egg, but when it was first invented, well, hardly anyone thought it was a good idea. And now, they're practically everywhere. So let's break it down. The technical name for a black box is a flight data recorder, and its job is to store all kinds of information about what goes on during a flight. Planes are equipped with hundreds of sensors that detect how well different parts of the plane are functioning, and also what kinds of weather conditions are happening outside the plane. These sensors are located all over the plane and they send information back to the black box where it's recorded on magnetic tape or stacks of microchips. Voices from the cockpit are also recorded and stored. All this is protected by three layers of materials. A thick stainless steel outer shell, a layer of high temperature insulation material and then a layer of aluminium. And it's all housed in the tail, the section least likely to get destroyed. The black box is actually coloured bright orange to make it easier to find in the unlikely event that the plane does crash. And if it gets submerged in water, a little beacon's activated and they can find it by sonar. The information retrieved from black boxes has helped engineers improve the efficiency and safety of aircraft all over the world. Not bad for a box. Australians have a proud history when it comes to medical science. Invented in 1961, Ultrasound was able to give pregnant women a glimpse at pictures of their unborn babies. It works by sending out high frequency sound waves directed at the internal body part being examined and recording the reflected sound or echoes to create an image. Almost two decades after ultrasound technology came an Australian invention that literally broke down the sound barrier. A bionic ear may sound like science fiction, but thanks to Dr Graham Clark it became science fact. Can you hear me are now the first words heard each year by thousands of deaf people who have been fitted with a cochlear implant. Now I know what you're thinking, money is hardly a new invention, but plastic money is. Invented by CSIRO in 1988, polymer banknotes last a lot longer than conventional paper notes and are also far more difficult to copy. Now countries all over the world also make their money out of plastic. And if that's not enough Australian inventions on Earth, Australians are now inventing things for space. Australia is leading the world in the design of a new generation of rockets. Known as scramjets, these engines can carry rockets many times faster than the speed of sound and don't emit pollution. So next time you look at a tall building or fly on a plane, pay with a plastic note or watch a feature film, or even just bite into a good old lamington, just imagine how different your life would be if it weren't for the inventiveness of Australians.